Bonjour, buenos dias, magandang umaga. Welcome to In the Sanctum of my Chamber of Chakras. And thank you for joining me on another episode of Astro Affirmation for July, oops, August 4th, 2023. It's Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. Everybody's looking forward to the weekend, week. And <laughs> this week went by so fast for us here at the Big Blue House. Yeah, the man got pretty much everything done. This morning, he is signing documents with the notary public. And he'll have to meet with a probate lawyer. So, yeah. I feel like I got hit by a Mack truck, swept up by a tornado and gone with the wind. Yeah, that moon in Aquarius, when Earl passed July 31st, and then August 1st is when the full moon in Aquarius peaked and it was a super moon. So it electrified my mind with thunderbolts and lightning. Yes, sleep was MIA. Yeah. I mean, look at these satchels under my eyes. Right? They look like shop owls. <laughs> Haven't had a Taurus good night's sleep since Earl the Pearl. Cool breeze. Nunu passed away. Yeah, Ida used to call him Nunu. <laughs> My mind has been traveling through time and space. And come to, when I come to, I, I'm not like, not, I'm all disoriented. And I'm not knowing if I'm still this avatar so confused <laughs> yeah so scared <laughs> hug me <laughs> so let's all embrace in spirit as we sing we are one shall we ready here we go start our chakra chat about the third eye chakra. Got my wide awake coffee here in my indigo mug. Have you got your cuppa? Join me in a cuppa and let's spill some tea. Yeah, so I told the man last night that I do not want a funeral. Mm -mm. I mean, why spend 15 grand on a dead body? You know? I mean, I would be dead. What would I need 15 grand for? Please. I guarantee you, I'm going to die someday. So you can just give me that 15 grand up front, like right now, while I'm still alive, yeah, give it to me now. So I can spend it on what and who I love, right? It just doesn't make sense that we have to wait 
until we're dead before we spend that kind of money. Hello, let's spend that now. We can't take it with us. Yeah, plus, I don't want anybody working on my body after I leave it, right? Who knows what they're going to do with it? And then they're going to put it on display after they make it over. Uh-uh. I tried to stop me for a funeral, but I said, no, no, no. Uh-uh. I said to the man, turn me back to dust and bury my ashes under old pecan in the backyard. Yeah. Bear in the big blue house forever. Oh, yeah. Because then nobody will want to sell or buy it, right? Because I'm in it. <laughs> My heart is in it to win it, y'all. <laughs> yeah, so this Leo season is not so fun in games for us here at BBH. Even the sun won't come out of the blanket of clouds that looms over the IE these past few days. Yeah, it's been hot and humid like it isn't when I visited Mississippi back in, I don't know how long ago, gosh, my youngest was only a little baby, maybe three, four months old. Um, we went over there to visit Ida in her house in Duck Hill, Mississippi. And the weather was just like the weather when Earl passed away. Yeah, hot and humid with random rain, like sprinkles and freaky fire bolts in the sky. Yeah, like the sky this one night just lit up. Boom, 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 like somebody's taking a picture, you know, a flash photo. Yeah. It's been pretty weird. Like last night, I saw a falling star. And I've seen falling stars before, but they're usually really up high and, um, you know, small. And it goes so fast that if you blink, you'll miss it. This one was huge. It was different. It was, it had like sparkling lights around it too. And it's so bright and it fell slowly and gracefully like it wanted to make sure I experienced it. Thank you, Earl, for confirming that you are transformed into pure light, pure energy. Because that's how it is, you know. When we leave this flesh, we become spirit back to how we were before we incarnated in this world. Yeah, we go back home. We go back to where we belong, right? That said, let's burn another incense and light a candle for Earl. Here's a Nug Champa incense. I'm gonna burn it. Yeah, and since today's color is indigo, I brought out my Taurus indigo candle holder. And we're going to light a tea light also for us. Because we are each eternal flames. 
from the same ocean of fire. Yes, we are the one. Okay, so I'll put that there and place it over here. For Earl and for us who still remain here on this earthly plane. Okay? So there's my little altar for Earl. Because each one of us is an eternal flame from the same ocean of fire. Yes. We're one. So the funeral is set for August 22nd. That's a Tuesday. So since I'm not going to the funeral we'll have our own private funeral here just by myself on astro affirmation okay so today's ruling energy is the third eye chakra why well because the moon is still in the spiritual sign of pisces together with the taskmaster and great teacher Saturn and Neptune, the planet of inspiration, right? The moon, Saturn, and Neptune are all together in Pisces, the spiritual sign of Pisces. So let's use the higher knowledge and wisdom of our sixth sense. guide us okay the third eye chakra is called ajna in sanskrit ajna means command or summon authority perception and beyond wisdom so with all those definitions in mind i came up with my own definition inner eye power to lead the spiritual journey of human beings. Okay? That kind of sums it up, right? Because I am not this body. I am the one inside the body. Like a person behind the wheel of a car. Okay? I am driving this vehicle. And the third eye chakra is my internal navigation system. You dig? Yeah. My GPS. Your GPS. That reroutes us and illuminates our path towards enlightenment. Heard that? Yeah, the third eye chakra is the doorway to the divine, the gateway to God, the highway to heaven, right? The staircase to your supreme self. Yes, the spiritual world. It is located at the core of the brain called the Eye of Horus. Here's my drawing of the Eye of Horus. I know I've shown you this before, but for those of you who haven't seen my drawing, this is the drawing of the Eye of Horus, and it is an Egyptian glyph of the area of the brain, in the core of the brain, where the third eye chakra is located and where the pineal gland, which is an organ uh, gland in the core of the brain is also located. As you can see, this is the cross section of the brain. I labeled where the pineal gland is. It's a blue dot, dot on the side there, okay? And it corresponds with the part of the eye of Horus 
see i labeled the parts of the eye with the corresponding parts of the brain okay correct me if i'm wrong i think i'm pretty accurate right okay so the third eye chakra the ajna okay right there The third eye chakra's um, physical counterpart is the pineal gland, which is in the core of the brain. Okay? It's in that central area of the brain. Okay, so, yeah, the pineal gland secretes a hormone called melatonin that um, relaxes us. I've referred to it as the honey, right? That it secretes a sort of honey. Melatonin is what I mean. Because it calms and relaxes your body to sleep, like when you're having tea, especially with a little brandy in it, right? <laughs> so when your body is asleep and your mind is awake, you're able to go through the portal of the third eye chakra and be in the spirit realm where Earl is right now. Yeah, and you can communicate with those spirits. You can go to find your true authentic self there and commune with God. That's how we pray. We close our eyes and our third eye opens in prayer, right? Our communication, our connection to God, the source, right? so that we can know the plan that he has for us. Your life's purpose, the mission you came here on earth to accomplish. Yeah, the Bible says in Jeremiah 21, I mean 29 verse 11, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and give you hope for the future and a future yeah not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future yeah there are two seed mantras for the third eye chakra sham which is the sound of the physical plane and om the sound of the spiritual realm okay as you can see here on the symbol on my chakra shell Right? It's a lotus flower with two symmetrical petals on both sides, on each side of the circle of consciousness. Right? They symbolize the balancing of polar opposites in the duality consciousness of our three dimensional reality. Get small? Opposing forces such as left brain right brain right left brain right brain they're contrary to each other but they're connected by the corpus callosum which balances um the whole okay like light and dark as in the yin yang symbol right two sides of the same coin equally balanced in the light, there's a little bit of darkness. In the dark, there's a little bit of light. Perfectly balanced. Right? Posing forces like male and female energies. I like this picture because this part here looks like a brain. And then left hemisphere would be the male. And then right hemisphere would be the female. Right? And they're one and the same. They're connected, right? And that's actually a lotus, a thousand petal lotus flower, which is the symbol for the crown. I love this, this symbol. That's why I keep it. Yeah. There's also an inverted triangle in the center of the circle of consciousness that shows the flow of energy from the lower chakras right the chakras below it 
and brings it up to the spiritual chakra or to the crown, okay? Above it. Yesterday, I talked about the heart chakra, the center of love and compassion. It's right here. Yeah, that combines the divine feminine and masculine energies into a perfectly balanced blend for a well-rounded person. Yeah, our seven primary chakras are connected. One quarant with different functions, just like each of us are, right? Where is my handy dandy? Clipboard. I got an illustration today. Yeah, take a cube. Okay, here's my paper model of a cube. Remember I showed you this yesterday too. The cube is the symbol for the root chakra, which is the first chakra of our current, our base, our foundation, right? Its element is earth, so this is the sacred geometry for earth, the cube, right? The earth element for the root chakra. It unfolds, when you unfold the cube, it's a cross. You see that? Okay, well the next chakra up is the sacral chakra, which is a water element, the circle. Remember, I was telling you um, the symbol. Um, the the moon is the um, symbol for the sacral chakra, a circle, sphere, right? And then the solar plexus is fire, tetrahedron, triangle, right? Okay, so now. This is where I illustrate, okay? The cube opens up to form a cross, right? Then the next chakra up is the sacral chakra, which is the circle, okay? Here's the curved lines of the circle. right? And then the solar plexus chakra is the triangle or tetrahedron. Right? Yes. The heart is the balancing of all those um, chakra energies. The root, the sacral, and the solar plexus chakra are all balanced in the heart of love and compassion. Cool? Cool. <laughs> yeah. So then, let's continue our rise to higher level of consciousness. Above the heart is the throat chakra, right? Our communication center, our power, to send and receive messages of truths, right? It's like going to church, okay? Yeah, when I used to go to church, the first thing you do is you enter the tabernacle of God in your heart, right? And we worship him with our voices through chakra singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. That's what the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 5, verses 19 through 20. It says, sing and make music from your heart. Always giving thanks to God the Father for everything in the name of Jesus our Lord. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. After that, after we sing, after worship, right? We pray. 
reflecting on the word of God as we close our eyes, our physical eyes, right? And the third eye opens. That's your spiritual eye. When your physical eyes are closed, your spiritual eye opens. Yes, it lights up in the darkness of our closed eyes, right? We see beyond the visible. We enter the spirit of creation and the veil of illusions is drawn open to reveal the truth from the lie. Yes, spiritual discernment, right? Quickening, all those are third eye chakra energies. Yeah, I have a bindi between my brows to mark the third eye chakra. Just as the symbol has a, a dot right there. Yeah, just to indicate that this is the third eye chakra. Yeah, I got my peacock feathers adorning my braid. <laughs> yes, my indigo tank top and denim jeans. Yeah. Here's my mandala for the third eye chakra. I know you can't see it, so I'm going to bring it to you. Look at that. It's also decorated with peacock feathers at the bottom. This is the dream catcher I got from the Lakota children of South Dakota. And when I first got it, it wasn't worn out like this, but... I kept it outside on the balcony, hanging there like a wind chime, and it got worn out. And I didn't want to throw it away, because you know, it's been through a lot. So I used it as the centerpiece for this mandala that I crocheted with Wizard of Loops on YouTube. Yeah, she has a, you know, step-by-step, and she teaches you how to, let me just put this back on the wall, so I don't lose it. I got my evil eye protection ring on this hand and my April crown ring on this hand because this represents the third eye chakra and this is the crown chakra. And I wore them, wear them together a lot because they go together, right? Yeah, and also I have this, the fingernail of Venus pendant necklace that my brother Ray gave me. So sweet. Thank you, Ray. Yeah, to honor the third eye chakra, the ruling energy of today. Friday, the day to wrap things up and put a bow on it. So relax. It's all good. Surround yourself with the color indigo dark blue, navy blue, deep purple, the color of a clear night sky, right? Yes, open, activate, and balance all your chakras, starting from the root all the way up to the crown. Balance them, paying close attention to the third eye chakra so that you can use its power to its fullest potential. Okay? That's all I have for you today. And once again, I honor God in you and me. Namaste.